Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. All right, this week, we're gonna still stay on AC. It is freaking hot outside. Houston in the grips of dangerous, oppressive heat. Triple digit temperatures recorded mid-June in Texas and dangerous heat already turning historic. Austin topping 100 degrees for eight straight days. And we're asking at this point, how do we make the airflow better? Got tons of questions on that. Hey, Todd, we're, we're keeping the coils clean and everything else. How do we make the airflow you know, greater in the RV? Well, here's the thing, and it's a great question. The, the more cold air or the more less hot air we're able to get into our rigs, then the quicker we can get to those cold temperatures. All right, now, the problem that we have is, is from the air conditioners, most of those are on the roof. And as soon as the air comes out of the roof, it hits a plastic plate, which slows down the airflow and sends it left or right. Well, that plastic plate causes two problems. First off, that's noisy. How noisy is your air conditioner? The second thing is, is as that air is coming down, it hits that plastic plate, right, and slows down the airflow. Well, then therefore, we're not getting much from our registers. This is not a sponsor um, ad or anything else. There is an item out there that I've got to, the chance to actually use, and here's the thing. It's called RV Airflow Systems. Now, this thing is awesome. It's custom fit to your a uh, particular brand and model of air conditioner, what it does is it changes that path from a straight hit to where it actually just allows the air to easily get into your um, ductwork. Now, when you're able to do that, it takes away the right angle and basically gives a smooth path for air. Literally 40% more air flow coming out of the air registers. If I can get nearly, you know, 40% coming out, that just means I'm gonna get a heck of a lot cooler, a heck of a lot quicker. All right, so we have something that does this. Now here's the thing. It also takes away that noise from that plastic piece. So you're sitting there watching TV, something like that. You don't want to listen to the air conditioner. Now, granted, bedroom, you want the air conditioner because you don't want to hear everyone else around you. You park next to some little kids out there and they're making a bunch of noise and you want to go to sleep. Turn on the air conditioner, loud noise, great. In the living room, maybe not so much. You put that RV airflow system in there, it helps take away or reduce some of the noise. All right, so. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just wanna learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, Roll the bloopers. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on training RV in America. <laughs> We're training that RV. <laughs> we call him Tom. <laughs> Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The world's largest RV training, you know, where all men are created equal, the, you know, the thing. <laughs> I have to make sure to put in, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor, yeah. <laughs> by the way, not a sponsor.